Ryan McBride with ForeFly. We've got a lot of new features that have been introduced recently. Going to have a look at some of them right here. Talk us through what's the, the latest and greatest. Yeah, so one of the cool things we're uh, announcing at Sun and Fun this week is what we call Four Flight Web. It's the ability to plan your flight online at home on your home computer with no software required. Look at weather, look at meters, tafts, all that good stuff. Everything you expect in Four Flight on your home computer. Plan her out, save it, it syncs automatically to your iPad. So now you can go plan your route at home, grab your iPad, and go fly. I can show you how it works. All right, let's go. So we can go, go log into foreflight.com. Once you're logged in, you see all the things you expect in Foreflight. So right now we're looking at a VFR chart of Florida. I can go into my layer panel here and change that. So for example, I could look at maybe an IFR low chart. It's as simple as one click. We're also looking at a couple different weather layers. So right now we're looking at some radar. We're looking at some flight category rules. I can zoom in here, and we can see a couple things. We have TFRs. So right now there's a TFR over Lakeland, of course, for the air show. I can see that there's a TFR further north of here for Disneyland. And we also have a great new route planning uh, feature built into Foreflight as well. So I'll show you how that works. So say we're going to plan a route. We'll do something like something nearby, maybe Orlando, uh, to maybe Lakeland. So all I have to do is type those two waypoints into my search, and I get an autocomplete. Based on where you are and based on the routes you've planned in the, in the past, we're going to recommend things for you. So for example, if I didn't know the uh, particular airport code that I'm going to, but I do know the name, it's as easy as typing the name and we're going to suggest the code for you. Once I've added the waypoints for my route, I tap the Add to Route button and we get a nav log, just like in Foreflight. So I see my, my route here from between those two airports. And of course, you can add multiple waypoints to your route. So if I wanted to go to, let's say, Tampa as well, I could add Tampa to my route by typing it into the search box, adding it to my route. And it's as easy as dragging and dropping your route waypoints in whatever order you want to fly them. Once you've added all of these waypoints to your route, you can favorite the route by tapping the star. And that route is sent automatically to your iPad. So there's no additional uh, work required to get that route onto your iPad. Everything is automatic. Foreflight Web is in beta right now, which means that it's going to be available to all customers free of charge, but we're opening it up one customer at a time because we, we want to make sure it's the best product it can possibly be. So the best way to get on Foreflight Web is to go to foreflight.com slash web, enter your email address, sign up to our beta list, and you'll get an invite in your email inbox. Well, great, Ryan. Well, thanks for taking some time to show us uh, what's new in Foreflight. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by Explore no limits flying in the newly FAA certified Sea Ray Elite Amphibious LSA. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Elite with a Rotax 914 turbocharged engine is equally at home on the ground, in the air, or on the water. Check it out at www.searay.com. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100, and ATX-100G transceivers are the next-gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com.